Hello everybody, welcome back to another vlog. How's everyone doing? I thought for today's vlog, it might be fun to do a little bit of like an apartment touring video because for basically the better part of the last two months, all that Drew and I have been doing is looking at apartments, houses, townhouses, condos, etc. Because if for some reason you didn't know, my boyfriend of seven years and I have lived in LA in this apartment for the last two years. And there are things we really, really love about it. It has started to feel very homey, but it is so expensive. Obviously LA is a very expensive city. Um, any big city is gonna be, you know, pretty pricey, but then when you add the beautiful weather, how much there is to do out here, like how amazing it is, yeah, it's gonna be pricey. You're gonna pay for it. So we've been kind of looking to see what's available a little bit outside of LA and see what we can get for either the same price or maybe hopefully even a little bit less. And luckily, by some miracle, our landlord is letting us go month to month on this place now, so that's great. You know, we have that flexibility and it's good, but um, you know, we have been denied from five different places that we have applied from. I don't know if you'd say denied, it's just that we didn't get it. You know, either someone else got it or it got rented right when we were applying or whatever, you know, we'll get into all of that. But I thought I would take you along on the journey because, you know, we went to these places many, many times over the last few months, toured many a spot. There were some that I didn't even film, honestly, like some were just diabolical to be honest. And then some were just beautiful and perfect and we missed out on them. And it's just, you know, obviously Drew and I have a really good attitude about it it gets frustrating sometimes when you really want something and you don't get it but I'm truly just choosing to believe that we're only gonna get something that's really meant for us and right now the market is so competitive so it's all good we'll find the place that we're meant to be um, we're gonna be happy anywhere we go because we're gonna be together and you can drop us in anywhere and we're gonna thrive you know what I mean so it's all good but I thought I would just take you along on the journey over the last couple of months and show you all of the places that that we wanted but didn't get, you know? Just a nice humbling moment. I will say, I've talked about this before, but uh, my boyfriend and I are in our 30s. We have no kids, no pets. We have really good credit. We have really good income, reliable steady income. We have perfect rental history. It's just so competitive that people are offering over the asking for rent. People are writing like, like buyer's letters, but for renters, like here's a little bit about me, you know, and that puts some people above the rest. Um, people are offering to sign like five year leases leases in order to lock in the price and put themselves above uh, above others and also people make a lot of money out here like a lot of money so there's different factors that go into it i will get into some of those as we go along but yeah we're gonna do the best we can with these like grainy iphone videos and show you some of the places that we wanted but in fact did not get so let's do it all right so if you remember back in february i think it was or maybe march drew and i actually viewed a house that was like i think almost a hundred dollars less Less a month than what we're paying for this apartment. It was beautiful. Unfortunately, someone rented it out. There were like a bajillion applications, but, um, and it also just wasn't the right timing for us, but we loved that one. And then actually maybe like a month or so later, an exact house like that with the same exact floor plan in a better like facing area of the neighborhood with like better lighting became available. And so you bet your butts, we drove over there and we were so, so excited about this one. So I'll, uh, I'll let you know what happens, but let's get into that. One. All right, so this house actually reminded us both a lot of our old house in Arizona. It was kind of like a smaller version and I liked this house even better than the first one because it had a fireplace. It was so cozy. The living room was kind of an awkward shape. Like it was like, okay, where do you put the couch and the console tables and all that kind of stuff? You kind of have to configure it. But um, this kitchen was like slightly more updated than the last. There was definitely a lot of storage, which was really nice. And there were like updated countertops and all of the appliances matched, which was nice. I think the last one, they like kind of were mismatched. I feel like overall this house was just in better condition than the other one. It had a cute little window by the kitchen sink, which I've always loved. Same dishwasher that we have now. It also had a pantry in the kitchen, which I thought was so nice. It's just like very convenient right there. There was a two car garage, which honestly like was pretty good size. It had some built-in storage or like shelving as well. And then you head up the stairs and kind of all of the bedrooms are right there. So this was the main bedroom. Really honestly, like pretty good size, decent layout. There were a lot of outlets, which we appreciate. We have one in our bedroom right now. And then this was the closet slash bathroom. You had the classic like shower tub combo with the glass door, which I absolutely hate. I don't know, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Some people hate shower curtains, but I hate glass doors. And then this 
closet. Are you joking? That was such a selling point of the other place. The lighting was amazing. Oh, this is the real Drew, by the way. Um, this is who he is behind the scenes. The closet in this house didn't have as much of the built-ins as the other one, but it was still great. Then I went to the bedrooms. This would have been the second bedroom, either Drew's or my office. Had a pretty decent sized closet for like a guest's bedroom. Nice, you know, overlooking the backyard. I realized I skipped over the guest bathroom, but there was one behind me and then another like linen closet, which is so great. Like storage is just so necessary. And then this is the laundry room, which I thought was cool that it was upstairs. However, this place you did have to bring your own washer and dryer. And some of the places you had to buy your own fridge. That's a whole other thing. We'll talk about that. But yeah, then this is the third bedroom. I think this is like the bigger of the two guest rooms. Again, overlooks the backyard, super cute. I must've forgotten to film when we were in the backyard, but it was really cute, very well landscaped, you know, plenty of room for gardening. And it was just a really, really nice, cute house overall. I loved it. So that one, sadly, we missed out on because we drove home, immediately applied within, you know, an hour of seeing it. We applied for it and literally three minutes after we applied, we got an email back saying that it had just been rented out. So that was kind of a bummer. It was like, why did we even waste our time? But it's just how it goes. The market is crazy out here. I think it had only been on the market for like two days or something like I said. So we were just a little bit late to the party. I believe they said there were over 40 applications for that house, which like, how would you even pick someone? You know, I totally get it. So no hard feelings, but that one hurt we really really loved that one and um that was a bummer the next place that we really really actually fell in love with was like a townhouse slash condo so it was in like a gated community it had three levels it was like 500 dollars less a month than what we're paying currently and it had like a garage and all of the things that you would want it had just recently been renovated as well and we were chatting back and forth with the realtor we dropped everything on a random day and just drove over there like pretty much put our entire work day on hold because we were like we've got to view this that's the thing is you got to get on it quick if something has been on the market for like two three days it's literally too late like it's crazy so we viewed this one and this is how it went when you walked in the front door of this place it was a little bit dark this was definitely one of the darker areas of the house this was the living room and it had a little fireplace which was so cute and i figured you could just put your couch like along this wall with the windows here there's enough room for our patio furniture as well which was nice i didn't really understand where you would put the tv because we have like a big console table but that was the dining room. There were people in the kitchen, so I didn't get to film the kitchen, but you go up a few stairs and there's a half bathroom, which I thought was really nice because there's built-in storage inside the half bath, which I really like. I thought that was very nice. Then you go the rest of the way up the stairs and at the top of the landing was a little kind of like office space area, which Drew said would be perfect for him. There's like built-ins and like a little desk. And um, side note, I was not crazy about these blinds. These were very ugly, but you know, it is what it is. And so that was just like a perfect little addition. And and then you walk a few more steps and this is the guest bedroom. It actually was a lot tinier in person than it looks on camera. Like it was pretty small. So that wasn't great, but it did have an ensuite bathroom, which was really nice. I love when guest bedrooms, like when you have guests over, people feel like they have access to their own bathroom. You know, that's really good. And this was a decent sized closet. There was a hole in the wall or the ceiling that they needed to patch up. But yeah, really a lot of storage in this place. That was what stood out to us. Then you walk into the main bedroom, which which was a really decent size. It was very, very cute. And I think this was in like the afternoon. So there was definitely pretty good light happening. Then you walk into the ensuite primary bathroom and this was so nice. It had been done really, really well. I love this like glass shower with the cute tiles. I love the shelf. I love that bathtub. I mean, that has me written all over it. And then you have your little toilet closet. Drew likes to call it the poop closet. Um, and then this was what the main closet looked like. It was so big. Like there was definitely plenty of room to put all of our clothes and then some. Yeah, we loved this condo. There was a two car garage that I didn't show. However, you did have to buy your own washer, dryer and refrigerator. So for this one, um, yeah, this one was an ouchie for sure. So we viewed it and while we were there, we were only inside of the actual unit for I would say less than 10 minutes. And there were, I think like four other people in that 10 minute window. 
like four other groups of people viewing that place, asking how to apply. Someone was standing in the kitchen filling out the application on their phone. Like it was very clear that people wanted this place and for good reason, it was so cute. So we also applied for this place the same day that we saw it and we, you know, immediately like submitted all of our things, made sure it was in perfect order, perfectly organized and, you know, kind of didn't hear back for a couple days. We did notice that I think like the day after we applied for it, it was not on the market anymore like it had been taken off all the rental sites we were like okay cool maybe that means the owner is like making their selections or whatever and then we got the email back probably three or four days later which honestly was kind of brutal when you're waiting to hear back on like if you're gonna move somewhere or not um unfortunately we did not get it they went with another applicant so that's okay, but that was a huge bummer. We were we were pretty sore about that one. Maybe like a week later or so, we found another place that popped up. Again, kind of like a three level condo type of situation. This one was in like a very sort of like modern community. It was really, really cool. It was definitely new and we were super excited about it. And actually this property, you had to apply before you even viewed it, which is interesting. I had never had to do that before. I do also feel like it's probably maybe a little scammy because it's like, you're just trying to get out application fees off of everyone, but also you're just wanting to show it to people who are serious about it. So it makes sense. But this was a funny one because my mom was actually in town and we had driven to a place before that, that we were supposed to view and the realtor just literally stood us up. Um, no, no one ever showed up. No one was there. I called, I emailed, I texted and I just never heard back. Like he literally ghosted us. So that was already a bummer. But then we drove over to this place and I think our viewing was supposed to be at like 3.30 or something like that. And I got a call from the agent at 3.30 and was like, hi, are you there yet? And I was like, yeah, we're here. And she said, oh, um, the previous tenant lost their key. And so like, we don't have a way to get into the place. And so he has to drive it to us, but he's like in San Diego or something. Anyways, it was a whole thing. So we ended up waiting like, I don't know, I think it was only like 45 more minutes or something like that for this place. But by the time we got there, we were like, well, this better be good because we've already applied for it. We've already paid to apply for it. And also we had to wait a long time to see it. So it better be good. Um, and when we got up to the front, like when we got the word that like, okay, they've got the key, they're in, everything is good all of the previous time slots from earlier in the day who had been waiting. They said that some people had been waiting there for like two and a half, three hours. Everyone was just swarming in like at the same time. It was kind of like <laughs> very intense. So didn't get like a ton of footage in there, but here's what that place looked like. This place was chaotic because there were so many people and also the tenant was still in the process of moving out, which I completely forgot about until I was looking at this footage. Like his stuff was everywhere. I felt kind of bad for walking around, but um, this main floor had the two car garage as well as like a kind of like office den area and then you go up to the main level which has the like kitchen dining room living room combo i loved this main area i thought it was so cute and we could have made it so so nice however the kitchen didn't have a ton of storage like i didn't notice a pantry or even like a hall closet or anything like that i did like that there was a balcony i thought that was really cute but there was this i don't know like structure or thing kind of blocking your view so that was kind of a bummer but yeah still could totally have made it very very cute liked that the kitchen was very modern and updated this place did come with the washer dryer dryer and refrigerator already in the unit. However, that's like not common in the area we were looking at. Like a lot of the places you had to buy your own. Um, this was another kind of like toilet room where the door opened into the toilet. That made no sense, but it looks like the previous tenant might have installed a like a sliding barn door. Um, we will get to that later, but then you go up the rest of the stairs and upstairs is carpet, which isn't my favorite thing, but we don't have animals anymore. So it's like, it should be okay. This was the only closet that I noticed that wasn't like a bedroom closet, um, but it had the laundry in it. And then this was the second bedroom. It was the afternoon again when we were viewing this. So it had really pretty lighting. I liked that a lot. It had an ensuite bathroom as well. So if we ever had guests over, they could have their own bathroom, which was great. And then we could make this one of our offices or my filming space or you know whatever and that was the only closet in that one and then you go across the hall and that's where the main bedroom was and again it was just like I felt so bad walking around because this guy's stuff was like clearly everywhere and he probably wasn't happy about a bunch of people walking I don't know why landlords do that I actually hate so it so I felt kind of bad that um you know we were just walking there were a bunch of people walking all over this guy's apartment but yeah this was what the bedroom looked like decent enough space it had really beautiful lighting in the evening this was the quote unquote walk-in closet. I mean, you could technically walk in it, but it was still pretty, pretty tight. And then um, like just some chaos started happening with other people. There are people downstairs who were waiting for two hours, two and a half. We gotta go. 
Someone else that was viewing the place thought that barn door was like an actual door. So they yanked it off and it like fell and it was a whole thing. So we were like, it's time to go. Bye bye. It was fun. So that place was interesting because they had, I think on the list of people who were viewing the unit just that day alone, I think there were like 20 names on the list. So they already had 20 applications in before they even like took it offline. And that was just for that one day, like I said. So it was just very interesting, but um, yeah, we didn't get it. I mean, we were one of dozens and dozens of people who applied for it. That one was very much giving me like scammy vibes. Um, I think it's kind of crazy that you, you're just allowed to like collect all of these applications fees knowing that you're not gonna rent it to people um because it was on the market still oh my camera is going down but yeah it was on the market still for like over a week after we viewed it so that was a bummer but yeah didn't get that one then actually after that one um we didn't get to film this place but we found like our, literally our dream house um it was quite literally a dream house situation it was so beautiful it was in a beautiful neighborhood it was it was perfect and they asked us if we could view it but it was on the day that we were driving to san diego to go stay with sierra and steven so we weren't able to go view it and we applied anyway we were like we don't care i think it was still tenant occupied so they only had like that one day available for showings but we were like we do not care like you know we want it so bad and um, we could just tell by the pictures that it was literally perfect it was so perfect this one actually does hurt. And yeah, again, we heard back like three, four days later, like, sorry, they went with someone else. You know, you guys were the second choice, yada, yada. But again, it was like, they said they had dozens of applications and obviously they can only pick someone. So, you know, it probably, maybe someone had like a few points higher of a credit score or maybe someone had a renter's letter or wanted to sign a longer lease or whatever the case, you know what I mean? You just never know. So that one, that one really hurt. We don't have any footage of that one, but that was, I think like the fifth, place we applied for that did we didn't get because there were the two condos the two houses and then this perfect dream house so you know spirits were low after that then pretty much for the next couple weeks following i feel like we knew deep down that we were like pushing it like uh just forcing something to happen that like wasn't supposed to happen because we kept going on these viewings of places that were just not it there were just like little things that you know we both work from home so we need a little bit of space we need amenities we need in-unit laundry parking you know all this different kind of stuff like we already have all of that here so we want to get that and hopefully maybe a little bit more square footage somewhere else we're looking so we do have like specific things that we're looking for and there were just little compromises that we were thinking about making and then ultimately realizing that like we wouldn't be happy. So this next place that we viewed was a condo that was really, really cute, but it just wasn't like perfect for us. And it was more of like an apartment and just not as, it was all kind of like one big room. There were actually a couple of them like that. So I'll show you this one. I just realized when looking back at this footage that we actually viewed this on the same day as one of the other places we looked at, but it's fine. Cause this is gonna go in order of like, these are the two places that we looked at that we didn't apply for that I filmed but this place was really cute the living room and everything was south facing so you know like on a bright sunny day this was kind of like in the evening as the sun was setting you know on a bright sunny day the lighting was perfect it was already beautiful this was what the kitchen looked like there was a laundry room you did have the option to rent a washer dryer and refrigerator for like extra on the rent which I think is kind of ridiculous but that's just how it is in this part of town so that was the main living area then we were in the main bedroom this was the ensuite bathroom in the main bedroom so it was like a double sink a shower a little toilet room and then this was the bedroom itself and there were ceiling fans which I really loved and just really beautiful bright lighting the closet was massive this could have been another bedroom I think this might have been the biggest closet we saw and I was like yeah there will be plenty of room for all of our stuff in here for sure. I loved how many windows were in this place as well. So yeah, that was the main bedroom. Then you walk across the hall and you're in the second bedroom. And this was a lot smaller and it was kind of a weird shape. Like there was that awkward sort of like corner in the wall where you could, I guess, probably put like a desk or something like that. But I would want it to be facing this beautiful light. There were amazing shutters. I loved that. And then just outside of the second bedroom was the guest bathroom. So a nice full bathroom, very, very cute. But this apartment was just really overpriced be honest that owner was really really sweet um we didn't end up applying for it and then she told us like i don't know later that night or something that it got rented out to someone else so i hope they're happy there the lighting was like mwah, it was perfect 
perfect. But yeah, it just wasn't like the perfect place for us, but it was still really cute. And then maybe like, yeah, again, a week later, something like that, we viewed another place that we saw online and it wasn't like 100% perfect, but we were like, maybe we could make it work. So there were tons of like little kind of random spaces throughout the place. Um, it was very kind of like uneven. It wasn't very open plan and flowy, but I thought it was kind of cool. So here's that place. Right when you walked into this place, which by the way, this neighborhood was unbelievable. It was so beautiful and it was gated but this was like the main area when you walked in I think this was like kind of like a living room and then you have a stairway that goes upstairs and a stairway that goes downstairs so we decided to go downstairs first because there were people upstairs so on your left when you walk down is just a little laundry room area which is nice and it's just separate it's away from everything I did think about hauling laundry up like three flights of stairs though and that would be kind of annoying and then right next to it is the garage so it's a two-car garage there was like I think some built-ins over there as well it was fine nothing fancy I mean it's fancy as hell because it's a garage but you know what I'm saying so then you go up some more stairs and at the landing is kind of like a weird area it's like the kitchen bathroom this sort of like I guess you could say office area like you can make this an office a loft a den whatever you want um, and then a hall closet right here which was good or like a coat closet so you could store a couple things if you wanted then you walked into the kitchen and this was one half of the kitchen which was kind of like a dining area and then on the other side of the kitchen was the actual kitchen itself so like all the counters and the appliances and stuff but I just didn't love the floors they were really old and very dirty to be honest and then yeah right next to some more stairs was a half bathroom which is very convenient to have because you have a bathroom on like you know the main floor and the upper floor which is good then you go up the rest of the stairs there's this kind of like little built-in area i am all about the storage these days you just need little spots to put all your tchotchkes you know what i mean and then this was the main bedroom it was actually a really good size and the closet again was beautiful there were a bunch of like bugs all in the windows and stuff but that's okay it's it happens but look at this window look how pretty that was that was very beautiful and then the ensuite bathroom was pretty nice it was pretty standard typical very big tub which i liked the shower i remember being like very stained and dirty like the little floor pad thing probably needed to be changed out and then you just have like your classic double sink then you walk down the hallway there is another full bathroom so i think it was two and a half baths in this place which is more than enough for us and then at the very end of the hallway was the two other bedrooms what we did notice though was that this place didn't have lights in the bedrooms ex except maybe the main bedroom but this place they, they just didn't have lights they were like yeah you can plug in a lamp and I was like, okay, I mean, that's fine, but I just find it weird. They just covered it up with like plastic. So those were the two bedrooms. You know, they both had closets. They were both nice, but it was, it was weird. The thing about like not having lights in the bedrooms was really bizarre. And then like the lights that were there, there were like bugs all in them and there were no repairs made on certain things that were like broken in the place. So it was just very clear that it wasn't very well taken care of. And I mean, for a few thousand dollars a month, like that's just ridiculous. So we passed on that one. It just wasn't perfect. And then it was just like, we were kind of at the end of our rope at that point, but we did view one more place. This was another similar thing where it was just kind of like one big open space. It felt like just one room with like bedroom on either end of it so that's this place i just did a quick walkthrough of this one because it was a really cloudy day so unfortunately like you can't control that so we weren't able to see it at its full potential but i loved these high ceilings these floors were a beautiful color down that set of stairs right there there was a storage closet and a two-car garage i didn't show that but this was the laundry room this place did come with a washer dryer and refrigerator which honestly has been so rare then there was a little kind of like linen storage area just outside of where the main bedroom was i also liked that that was right next to where the laundry was at so that was convenient. And then this is the main bedroom. I loved these big tall windows. There weren't any blinds on any of the main bedroom and living room windows, which I thought were weird. Um, then there was the bathroom. Definitely more of like a, I don't know, like kind of early 2000s, like Tuscany type of vibe. It's not my favorite, but like, I'm not complaining and decent sized closet which i loved i loved that it was all kind of right there together there was nothing like terrible about this bathroom or shower or anything like that it was just you know not my personal choice it just feels like yeah it feels like a little bit dated maybe you know 20 years old or something like that i either like things to be super super old or modern it's not much in between for me and if you're paying a lot of money you know you want to have stuff that you enjoy there was a little back patio balcony space which was really 
really cute. I loved that. And then this was the guest bedroom, which was north facing and it was so, so dark in here. There weren't any lights on in the apartment, like the power was cut off. So we weren't able to see what it would look like with lights, but it was just way too dark for me. And then there was an ensuite guest bathroom, which I liked. And then finally, just here's a quick little shot of what the kitchen looks like, you know, cute, very open, very big, but just wasn't for us. We actually found that place from the same realtor that listed the house, the dream house that we wanted. Um, she, you know, was really, really kind and really liked us. So she was trying to help us out by finding finding us some other places. And that place was cute, but it just wasn't, it wasn't the one. It was a cloudy day that we were in there. So it was hard to tell, but like the guest bedroom was really, really dark. But yeah, it just, the vibes were a little bit off. You know what I mean? Then there were a couple other places. I'll just have some honorable mentions. There were a couple other places that we didn't film that were just truly awful. Like I couldn't, believe that some of them were for rent. One of them was a house that the landlord was being very specific in that he didn't want to have anyone move there with kids because he was like illegally using the address to access the school district for someone that didn't live in the district anymore. I don't know. So they were like, you can never have kids if you live here, you know, type of thing, which like we probably won't. I mean, maybe, but it was just kind of funny and it was really overpriced. And there was another house that shouldn't have even been on the market. Like it was so dirty and disgusting. There were rat traps all over the property? I said, oh, absolutely not. Nope. There were like citrus trees and we've already, if you remember half a decade ago or more, Drew and I have already been through that. We've already dealt with the rat infestation era of our lives and we're not doing that again. And then we viewed another place that just was like north facing. We couldn't tell by the listing. So we went and viewed it. It just was like really dark and not good. And then there was like dog pee all over the stairs, which like been there, but they did like it wasn't cleaned and it just wasn't the vibe at all. So yeah, that is pretty much all of the apartments that we viewed. And I thought I would just show you anyways, cause I have this footage, so why not? But currently Drew and I are just, everything is up in the air. We're really just kind of open to whatever. We are open to finding a place in our neighborhood that we currently live in that's just not in this specific unit. We're open to a different part of LA or a different part of Southern California. We're also considering going back to Arizona and maybe just like saving even more money and getting like a bigger house like we used to have or whatever. So we're just kind of going with the flow, honestly. Um, we feel not tethered to anywhere. Like anywhere we go, we're gonna be happy, you know? So that's good to know. But yeah, I, I do feel like our time is coming to an end in this current apartment. It's wonderful, we love it, but there's just like outside factors and the price and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, stay tuned. I mean, it like very well may be another one of these videos. <laughs> we may decide that we're gonna start looking again and we're feeling inspired or whatever, or we may just end up staying here for a little bit and until we figure it out. But yeah, for now we're just chilling. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. Thanks for hanging out with me. I love watching videos like this. So hopefully you enjoyed seeing it too because I just always find it so fascinating. I love touring houses and apartments. It's like one of my favorite hobbies. I love going on Zillow. I love going on all the rental sites. It's truly so exciting for me. So yeah, those were all the places we viewed, including the five that we applied for and did not get. So thanks for being here and I'll see you very soon in the next vlog.